friends, and welcome to our Ignatian Wisdom of today. Uh, I continue my series on making wise choices from the thoughts of Margaret Silk, author of the book Inner Compass, An Invitation to Ignatian Spirituality. And today's theme is Noticing Any Overreactions When Making Wise Choices. And Margaret says this, Overreactions are another very sound guide to what is really going on in your heart. Did you go over the top about anything during the day? What triggered the reaction? How do you feel about it in hindsight? An overreaction like this is like the bubbles from a submerged shark. It is a telltale sign that something bigger is lurking under the surface of what you see. If you notice bubbles like this coming up in your day, it may be very important to stop at that point and ask yourself, without judgment, where are the bubbles or where are these bubbles really coming from? If you lost your temper with a colleague or grumbled at the neighbor's children, or you came close to road rage with another driver, where was this negative energy coming from? Very often you will find that it isn't all it seems to be. The driver who enrages you may actually be activating deeper reasons for your anger. The girl who delays you in the supermarket by chatting needlessly to the person in front of you may actually be doing you a favor. She may be the signal that warns you that the pressures in your life are running dangerously high. Another benefit of living our lives reflectively, noticing our overreactions, because our overreactions might signal to us that we are being overwhelmed, stressed out, stretched way too thin. And so it's an important uh, piece of uh, information when we're making wise choices. Where did we overreact in the day? And am I making choices based on those overreactions? And so, my friends, we pray. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful day.